Back in May 2015, the Yi action camera got into the hands of the public and the reviews were generally favorable. The video and image quality was comparable to the GoPro Hero 3 Plus, but the app was lacking in many ways. Since then, Yi has released their 4K action camera with a built-in screen and a higher quality lens for $200. But is the original camera still worth it? I'm Ian from Your Tech Explained, and in this video, we find out. First, let's get some specs out of the way. It shoots video in 1080p at 30 frames per second, and takes photos up to 16 megapixels. It has a battery that will last for 95 minutes along with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so you can control the camera from your phone. Next, let's take a look at the video quality by reviewing some sample footage from when I went mountain biking with the camera on a chest mount. The video quality is alright and the colors are pretty decent, but the biggest issue is the constant shaking, no stabilization on this camera. Another footage sample is when I mounted the camera on a skateboard and took it around the town. It's pretty decent quality, but the sun is causing some overexposure as well as a bit of lens flare. But overall, it isn't too bad. As for the microphone, it's about on par with other action cameras. Nothing special there. But it must be noted, this camera is almost two years old, yet it does well for light use. Now that you've seen how the camera performs, it's important to note a few other details about the camera with the app being the biggest one. While the app has certainly made great strides from when it was first released, it still isn't the best. The connection process usually takes some time and the settings are all in odd places. Furthermore, the app isn't set up to be only a camera control app. The front page is like a social media network with videos taken with Yi cameras. But the app does what it needs to and after using it a few times, you get used to some of its quirks. Sadly, the app is the only part that has changed. The battery is fine when taking video, but the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection does take up a fair amount of battery. The cover for the charger and microSD is annoying to remove and replace, as is the card itself, and the cover can get lost easily because there's no connection from it to the camera. There's also no English manual for the camera, so you have to play around with it for a while to learn what each blinking LED means. So yes, there are annoyances, but once you take time to learn how to use it, operation is pretty smooth. If there's only an occasional use for an action camera, then this would be the one to get. Plus, at $80, it's reasonably affordable. Any more, then you should go for the 4K version or even GoPro. Links are in the description. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more weekly content.